Hi, Sophia. What are you doing? Playing with my pet guinea pig. Look at my pet. It's a pet rock. No, it's not a pet. It's not living. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What are you guys no, talking about? Whether Jake's pet is living or non-living. Let's go and investigate which is living and which is non-living. Living things move. Look here. So, they are only moving their arms. Does that mean that living things don't move their legs? No, that's not true. If you look over there, they are, they're living and they're moving their legs. Wait a minute. How about plants? They don't move. Yes, they do. Come and look. Jake, look at that tree. It's moving. It's just the wind. Not really. It has to grow. That way, it moves. Oh, I didn't know that. Things grow. Isaac will probably keep getting taller and taller, though I do not think he will get as tall as the tallest living man. Snuggles is our pet guinea pig. He is a living thing. He eats, drinks and poos. I mean, gets rid of waste. What else makes a living thing? A living thing also respires. What does respire mean? Respire means breathing. Watch Audrey breathe in and out with the balloon. Last year, our grade got two guinea pigs. Shortly afterwards, babies were born. So, instead of two, we had six. That's called reproduction. Living things reproduce. Is there anything else I should know about living things? Living things are also sensitive to their environment. Does anything happen when I tickle your pet rock? No, nothing happens. Now look what happens when I tickle you. <laughs> You move and you giggle. So this means my rock is non-living and it can't be my pet. No, you can still have your rock as a pet and play with it. Why don't you teach it tricks? Like what? Like teaching it to stay. Mm, okay.